Mr. Danny Trejo is here. Hey, Mr. Danny, welcome to Keel. How are you doing this morning? Thank you for taking time for us. Doing great. Doing great. Thank you. Let me start off here. Aaron and I are both pretty big Danny Trejo fans. Mm -hmm. But the gentleman who answered the phone, our producer, Ruben. That'd be me. Is he and his wife are massive, huge, let me phrase it this way, if there were, and I think there probably is at their house, a Danny Trejo fan club in our city, he and his wife would be president <laughs> and vice president, and they would argue over which one was which. So before we get to the meat of the interview, I just wanted to say, Danny, Ruben, Ruben, <laughs> Danny. Nice to meet you, Mr. Trejo. <laughs> How you doing? God bless. Thank great. you. I've got to ask you, Mr. Trejo, first, you're here for the big CADA event tonight, a big fundraiser. It's the Council on Alcoholism and Drug Abuse. What motivated you to come here? I mean, this is this is something from, from your past. You've struggled with it for years, and you, you're trying to help others, right? Absolutely. That's so. Uh, I think the way the good Lord intended us to live is helping each other. And your message tonight to the crowd that will be there will be what? My message is drugs and alcohol will ruin your life. And education is the key to anything you want to do. You have been, bluntly speaking, sober for more than half a century. That yep. uh, the, 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 you, It's almost like you don't have to say anything. You can walk out. Somebody can tell people that. And you are uh, just by your life an inspiration. Is that unfair? <laughs> Thank you. I, uh, you know, I just, I mean, like I said, I just live a day at a time and life just keeps getting better. The more, the more you do for others, the better your life gets. You know, you started off, I was reading a little bit about details about your life and career last evening. And you were, at the time that your movie career began, albeit a bit part, I think, and sort of a, sort of a trainer and or consultant to a movie, you were at the time a drug counselor, right? I still am. I still work for Western Pacific Med Corp. You know, I, can, I do their public relations now. I used to be a counselor. Now I just make sure that uh -oh, we people know I work for them. You, your, your career has been, it dates back, I can't even begin to imagine. You have been in so many movies. I have a son who says... Please tell him I loved him in Spy Kids. Tell him how old your son is now. And, My and son is 25 now, and he's yeah. just out of the Marines. And uh, he, God bless him. You send him a big God bless and a hug from me. I will. He loves you, and he, he thinks you are just fabulous. You, What's next for Danny Trejo? We see you in so many things. It, it, we can, I can't even list them all. I, I started a... I started a uh, uh, record label Trail Music, and we've got a. We just released an album when on Father's Day. It's called Chicago Soul Shop, and we're doing a. It's doing pretty good. You know, it's it, there's a line in the movie Broadcast News. It's Albert Brooks and a couple of other folks. There's a line in that movie. What do you do when your dreams come true? And the answer is realize you aimed too low. <laughs> do you ever think about that? Do you ever look at your life? Because you, you and me are about the same age. We're not kids. And you look back at the way things started as opposed to how they turned out. And yeah. do you just look back and go, what did I do? I, uh, I am so afraid that somebody's going to wake me up and it's all a dream and I'm still in prison. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How, hey, long, how, long, <laughs> how long were you in prison? Ten years. Oh my. Okay, yes. Danny Trejo, I have a I have one request for you. Okay? Because yeah. I've heard so much about this that I need to request that you bring a Trejo's taco to Shreveport. <laughs> Can you please look into that? We would love to have Trejo's tacos in Shreveport. We have got uh, everybody it's like we doing they're doing really, really well. And we try to make healthy food. Well, we certainly yeah, appreciate it. People keep asking, you, what's your secret? I mean, look, at, there's no secret. It's good food. You know, people don't come back for bad food. No, they don't. No, Absolutely. They don't. <laughs> so, so you're a movie star. You're in the restaurant business. You're going to make music. I know you do car stuff, too, right? I have a, I have a little fighter. Her name is uh, Sanice Estrada. She's a... Uh, WBC flyweight champ and wow. uh, 
uh, I've been sponsoring her. She's doing great. Now, her story was when her dad got out of a prison, he started training the boys how to box. She was eight years old. She kept saying, Daddy, I want to box. And he said, no, no, this is for boys. Daddy, I want to box. No, it's for boys. I'm boys. So she bothered him so much that he got this little 12-year-old boy and said, okay, look, I don't want you to hurt her, but I want you to convince her that she doesn't want to box. So they put him in the ring together. She beat the hell. <laughs> <laughs> they had to pull her. She didn't know how to box. She didn't know how to fight. So they had to pull her off as kids. So one of her brothers said, uh, I guess she has that fighting spirit. <laughs> you know, so, so right now she's the WBC champ. She's wow. fighting Excellent. on the Canelo undercard. I, I started to say we appreciate your time. We think it's awesome you're coming to town. Going to be here for the Cata Banquet tonight. But before we do let you go, Ruben, do you have a question? I, I don't have a question. I, I just want to thank you uh, for coming out here and being such an inspiration. My wife, who gave me permission to say this, Lauren W., uh, she has been in the program for a long time now, and you are a true inspiration to a lot of people who are here in the program here in Shreveport, and I just want to thank you. God bless. Thank you. Thank her, man. Thank <laughs> Absolutely. all our servicemen, too, all of them, all our servicemen.